Hi everyone. If you're watching this part, it might be that replay. If you do not see the little live up in the corner, you are catching this on a replay. But that is okay. Hashtag replay. Just let me know you've watched. Please, as always, if you share the video, it's much appreciated. Uh, welcome to Crafty with Me. Oh. This was kind of like a last minute decision because I did not have, I had something else in mind, but it just didn't come to me. So just bear with me this evening, but we'll make something. This would, I think would look cute on my trees, like as an oversized ornament for winter. All right, here we go. I don't know yet. Um, hi, Pamela. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Peggy. Looks nice. Hi, Tanya. Give me a hot pocket. A hot pocket? Yes. It, go ahead, Logan. Hi, Diane, girl. How are you? Um. Hi, Giselle. Your craft cottage. Hello, Liz. How are you? Hi, Tammy and Glenna. Thank you guys for coming on. Um, Pamela. Hello. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jeanette. Oh. It, it was actually. I wasn't sure if I was making it. My I. Mm, my eyes are bothering me really bad, so you'll just have to bear with me. So we're going to use these 8-inch little wooden shims as our base. Um, I, and what I'm using is a, a cute little wooden sled from a kit that was sent to me that I think came from uh, like Timu or something. I'm not sure. Hi, Deb. Happy New Year. Hello, Lori. Thank you all for coming on. Yes, Lainey's live too. Hi, Pamela. Okay, yeah. So this is gonna, this is gonna be an easy-ish project. So these are uh, eight-inch wooden shims from Home Depot. They um, obviously they're shorter than the other ones we use, but these all these make good bases, and that's what we're gonna use them for tonight. And how I'm gonna connect them together is I have five of them. And we're just going to use some popsicle sticks to keep them together. And I'm just going to use some hot glue. Nothing, nothing fancy here. Same old, same old. <laughs> so how was everyone's day? I hope y'all had a good day today. Uh, I, my day was pretty, oh, shoot, 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 too long. Pretty unproductive, I guess. But that's just the way it's going to be this new year with me. I'm not going to overdo it. When, when I want to just sit around, I'm going to sit around. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Unless my house is a mess and laundry needs done. But other than that, you know. Hello, how are you? Hello, Elizabeth. You're still sick, Rebecca. Oh, I'm telling you, everyone who's been sick this season has been sick for weeks. I know with my kids not feeling well, um, you know, all right before Christmas, I wasn't, I wasn't well either. But that's one thing I'm hopeful for the new year. You know, I'll everyone feels better and we can get through these winter months together, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Sherry girl. Thank you, Haley. Um, uh, yeah, the shims are all going in the same direction. Uh, but you could, if you, the reason why I put mine in the same direction is because I'm putting something on top of it where I want it to lay flat. Um, but you can, when you use wooden shims, there's the thicker side and then the thin side. You can like alternate them if you'd like. Whatever you would want to do will work. It just depending on the project, prod, project. <laughs> can we talk? I think I overdid it a little. We don't need all this. Goodness gracious. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two more of my wooden shims and we're going to make our little frame. You guys have seen me do this many times. This is no um, creativeness. <laughs> but it's still, this should still turn out cute if my vision works. But I just take a, uh, a pencil and I'll mark and then we'll cut my thin side. Hi, Robin. Hi, Mary Beth. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, Christine, that's what I've heard. Everyone, you know, they're, you're sick for like a whole month. 
and I know like it took me forever to like start like feeling back to myself and plus then the holidays come around and you're exhausted from the holidays I get it I totally get it I still count my blessings you know because life can be worse and all you know you have to stop and think sometimes I'm, I'm like okay I'm grateful for just having a little cold you know because it's just you can get by with a cold you know all right I'm just gonna look like I'm professional and you know smooth out our edges a little bit you know the deal all right now this because of my little sled here and the size of my shims they're eight inches I kind of have to like make my own frame okay this should be fine I just want to make sure everything fits I want it to be like snug So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this here as a base until because I like to paint everything at once. And I was throwing colors around, and I'm I'm gonna stick with what I wanted to do. But do you ever do that? Like when you're crafting, you just like I feel like I want to change my mind. It must be uh, I don't know what it is about me, but I'm a I'm a second guesser in all things when it comes to my crafts. I'm like, will I like that? Is it going to be ugly? And we just find out live. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure it stays. That's that's the thing here. Um, hi, Gail. Um, oh, amen, Tanya. That's wonderful news. I feel like I'm out of the loop with everybody, and I need to get on my supporter group. It is what it is. We're good. Sometimes you have to watch with the wooden shims. They're not even. They're not perfect. So if you like things like, you know, smooth and perfect, wooden shims might not be for you unless you sand everything down. Um, but I like the imperfections. Again, if you don't like it, I don't know. Get another surface. We're going to um, stain this. Was that what my original thought was? Why do I do this to myself? Yeah, I needed to stain. We're going to stain this. I'm going to use, uh, this is just water. And I'm just wetting the wooden shims. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint on my uh, anti Waverly wax. I know you guys are probably sick of my, my color palette, but you know, sometimes I like things. <laughs> But we're going to add a different color tonight that I'm hoping will look okay. But I like the look of the, like, stained wood. I really do. And the water will thin out your, um, whatever your, you could use even acrylic paint. Truly. I love you, Haley. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm on a little early just because I was having a little bit of an issue. I'm going to the eye doctor, hoping something will be done. Okay. I'm gonna get my edges and then our base is done. forgot I had these little wooden shims I because I, I'm thinking I didn't have a the correct surface for what I wanted to do and I looked in my drawer and lo and behold I have wooden shims and they're very inexpensive too they make great backings and you'll see I'll use a lot of these you call me the shim queen here um hi Janine we're back I just been having some uh eye trouble uh, out of nowhere, the last few days, my vision has gotten extremely, well, it was around Christmas time. I'm thinking we're still in the same week of Christmas, but um, my vision, 
I just very blurry. Uh, like I could see better sometimes without my glasses, and then sometimes it's just odd, very odd. And um, I I can't see with my glasses looking down anymore. It's all blurry. These are brand new prescription. I just went to the eye doctor. Uh, it's like November. And my prescription couldn't have changed that much in a couple months. So, we'll see. Just like I said, bear with me. I know last night's project, I missed so many little spots. And I'm like, oh, uh-uh. I need my eyes. I need my eyes. Hi, Peggy. No headaches at all. No headaches. No other um, symptoms. My eyes do feel like they're um, burning a little bit. And I feel like I have a little bit of like pressure in my eyes, like like they're like they're swollen, but they're not. So it's concerning. That's why I'm not wasting any time, and I'm going to the eye doctor. So I'm hoping it's nothing. And I just need like some bifocals or something. Like I'm getting old. <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. I don't know, Jay. That's the thing. It, these were perfect for the last few months. But, again, yeah, I'm praying it's just a, a tweak of my eye prescription and go from there. That looks like hair. That's really bothering me. Oh, well, we're covering it, but... <laughs> okay. Let me do this in sections, just because I want to see exactly how I'm going to like this. So, I have some little snowflakes... And they're not all the same, but listen, there's no true snowflake, right? Um, how did I have these in order, though? But I'm going to paint all of these ivory. And before anyone comes at me, because you always say, why don't you get the large bottles? They did not have any large bottles of ivory chalk paint when I went to Walmart. Um, I actually had to shove my whole entire arm all the way into the back. To get this ivory. I was so like, wait a minute. <laughs> they were out of ivory. They were out of the antique Waverly wax. I'm like, what is happening? And it was after Christmas when we went, because I knew I needed it. So I gotta get I gotta get stocked up again on a lot of paint. I think one coat is gonna be good though. And then we'll go ahead and paint our sled. Oh, and I also have little skates, too. I love decorating with sleds and skates, winter-themed, like, trees for uh, winter. But I don't think I'm going to do much more winter. I think I'm going to be hopping right into uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just order it online. But usually my, the two Walmarts I go to are always stocked. No issues ever. And then just, of course, when I'm out of a paint color, that's what happens. Um, down in anticipation of internet. That's true. That is true, Giselle. Well, maybe that gives me hope. So next time I go, I'll be able to. Get my large bottles. Because I just laugh because everyone's like, why do you get the small bottles when you craft so much? And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Why Why do I? Because <laughs> these ones are like a dollar fifty or well, a dollar like seventy eight or something. They're, they're no. These are cheaper. But I don't know. I don't I think mine are like under two dollars a bottle. I'm not cheap, but sometimes you gotta be. <laughs> I'm cheap, not by choice. That needs to go on a t-shirt. Um, uh, this, the, this one back here, I, I didn't plan on selling that one just because it's not, I don't think it's, it's sellable for me. It's not that good. If you look up close, it's not that good. <laughs> Some stuff I don't sell or auction because I'm like, uh, uh nope, I don't think it's good enough. Um, but I made that a couple years ago. 
I could show it to you up close, too, because it was really easy to make. Um, okay, so this little thing here. This was my issue with my color thing. I wanted to make a different color sled. And we're, I think I'm, yeah, we're going to do it. This is the color Sage by Waverly Chalk Paint. It is one of my favorite colors. Um, I'm low on this as well. Add that to the list, please. Um, and I think that's what we're going to paint these. And then these are the little skates that it came with. Look how cute. We're going to paint those too. I think I'm just going to do ivory on those. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting an idea. It's coming. Huh. I think it's going to look wintry. They, we had, you know, the big discussion with this is supposed to be like a sage color, but it looks more of like a blue gray. That's what it's looking like on there. Happy New Year, Elaine. Okay, Cindy, have a good night. Um, yeah, the the their paintbrushes are great too. Very cheap, very inexpensive. Yeah, but if you haven't used the color Sage, definitely look into it. Such a pretty color. I'm thinking I'm just going to paint the entire thing. Not just this part. Oh. Indecisive knee is in full force this new year. Hi, Delene. How are you? How are you? Thank you, Christine, for those stars. Um, hi, Pauline. Just coming on. I fell backwards on the second step in the bottom of my basement. Oh my gosh. And found out I fractured my foot and I'm now wearing a boot for six weeks. Oh, Pauline. Keep not. Oh, well, thank God you don't need surgery, but goodness gracious. Oh, I hope you're not in too much pain and you're okay. That's terrible. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna paint the whole thing. I'm not, we're not messing around. I was thinking of painting something, like a different color on the top part. You know, the, I don't know terminology for what sleds are. It, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's get our edges too, so it's finished. Um, hi, Wendy. Hi, hey, Beverly. Happy New Year. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, I can't see this. You're all going to think I'm weird because I'm going to be <laughs> to look over my glasses. It's just, it's never happened to me like that before, ever. That's why I said, you know, yesterday it was so nice that Dan read comments for that four seconds. Um, oh, yeah, Heather. Holidays will burn us out. And that's like kind of, you know, there's to me, I'm like, this is what this is my joy and my happy place when I get to craft. Whether I'm live or not, creating and crafting has always just been such a, a joy and a passion for me. Okay. Because I always, I didn't always have a page, and I, I would still craft, right? And recently, I'm like, I have nothing. I'm like, I have no ideas. Like, I'm looking through my craft supplies, and I'm trying to come up with an idea, and it's just not happening. And I'm like, tonight, people are going to be like, girl, you just did a sled yesterday. Well, guess what? We're doing another one. But it's it's different. It's different. All right. Good enough. I'm going to give it probably a little bit of some distressing. Because you all know you, you, you know my style. Nothing can be perfect. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Arlene. 
Oh, well, I appreciate you being here. Um. I'll let that dry on its own because we have to do these. All right. See, but I don't. Is that? That's not like raised. Hmm. I want to paint these. Maybe I'm not. Because look how look at the detail and it does match. Can you guys see that? See how it matches my the backing? I think we're gonna leave it. I'll stain the bottoms though. Let's just see what it looks like. I like the detail. And I and if I paint it the ivory color, it'll cover that. I'll dry brush. We'll dry brush on it. See how my decisions just come. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just give it a little bit of a detail on it. I'm gonna go all the way up. Okay. Um. Yeah, Florence, you know what? Hi, Rhonda. Thank you, Christine, for sharing. I appreciate you guys sharing. It really helps my page, and you all know that. I just don't like to ask or sound like a broken record. But um, I appreciate that. The, this came in a kit and Happy Mail. It was in that tear tray kit I showed a while back. Um, so I have no clue. I don't know where it came from. It was sent to me, and it was. It looked like it was like a package from like a Timu kind of thing, or Amazon. I I can't tell you for sure where it came from. And I tried to look up the packaging, and it didn't show up anywhere. So, I don't know. It's a mystery. I don't know. So. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'll do is we'll take a little bit of the ivory, and I'm just going to lightly dry brush. And you all know when I say lightly, my hands are a little bit heavier than most. Because I'd like to just keep that. Okay, it's working. Let's see, I just did that. Because I didn't want to cover the laces and stuff. Because then they'll just look like witch's boots. At least that's what I think. Um, thank you for the stars, Deb. Thanks, Lynn. I know, aren't they cute, Nancy? It was such a cute little kit. I made multiple things with it for Christmas. My daughter actually went ice skating, um, over the weekend. She's like, she came home and her pants were all wet. And I'm like, you fall. She's like, no. <laughs> I used to go ice skating all the time. I was never the best. I was a better, I did better at rollerblading. Because we used to have a, um, a, a like a rollerblading skate rink, skating rink. I wish they still had those around here where I'm where I live. I had so much fun. There. I think they look better than they did. 
just added just some little details to them. Nothing, you know. Um, Southern Crafts Corner has really cute, affordable cash checks. Yes, Nancy. You're a better ice skater. See? <gasps> you broke your arm, Stacy. Oh, my goodness. Sheila. Yeah, if anyone, you know, has knows anyone that has... I know a lot of crafters make some beautiful, beautiful kits. Um, please share that with us. Because, um... Sometimes you can't find these cute little things. I know these weren't these weren't handmade. These were sent to me from a like a another uh in a whole tier tray kit thing. But these weren't like handmade, but Oh, I've seen some really beautiful work from crafters making kits. So if you sell them or know someone who does, please share that if anyone's interested. Hi, Ruby. See, Peggy, I've, I've ice skated and I, I did the, I did some I, uh, roller skates, but I was better with the blades. But I had so much fun. So much fun going to the skating rink. Um, hi, Tammy. I just stuffed them. Yes, yes, I love, you know, every year, I told you guys this, every year when I go to the secondhand store, I always think I'm going to find a pair of skates, and they usually have them, a pair of ice skates. And every year I'm like, I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to use them for my winter decor, and I never do. But I'm telling you, if I want to go get them tomorrow, they won't have them. <laughs> but I'll see them in the summertime and not buy them. It, it, it happens every year. Okay, now everything's painted. I am going to do a little dry brushing of the ivory on the um, sled too, because it's just a little bit too bleh. So instead of using Antique Waverly Wax, I'm just gonna do a little dry brush. It's gonna kinda look like snow, all on my edges of my little sled. Um. Oh, you're on a train ride, Sherry, how fun. Refresh, restyle has kits too. Yep, yep, yep. Um. Yeah. Again, I can't name I can't name anyone that I know that I can think of at this moment. <laughs> but please, if you know people that sell kits, I know Crafty Guys has cute stuff too. Their kits, they ha they sell kits. Yeah, because they have machines that cut all those, all the different things out. I'm like, now that is talent. That is skill. I can't even use my Cricut without screwing something up. <laughs> all right. That looks better. Just some dry brushing. Okay. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to start... And we're going to put that in our, our shim backing. Okay. Center it up. I mean, it's, di it's a different kind of color combo going on, but... I'm okay with it. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Irene. Lizzie and Aaron have you too. Re Rekindle Blessing has kits. You guys, you have options. <laughs> you guys have options. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some uh, Dollar Tree twine. Nothing fancy. And you know how, like, sometimes ice skates are, like, hooked together? You know, by some... I don't know if it's like a, like a shoelace or whatever, you know how, or like people tie their shoelaces together to make like, to be able to hold them. That's what I'm going to make for these little skates. And we're going to put them right in the middle. Uh, so what am I doing? We'll do it like, we're just, 
going to like connect them. You know, you know what I mean here? I just wanted to see if how long I wanted my little, my string to be. Oh, I was like, did I do this right? Um, I can't see. I got to go roller skating. Lynn said she got to go. Well, let me read it. Some boy asked me to skate with him, romantic, and he was sweet and humble and got me out of the... F oh, how cute is that? Oh, Lynn, I love that story. And dancing on a skate, but always attentive to me. I still remember his name. Never saw him again, but my whole... Oh, see, that is something that you could just treasure and think of, and what a happy memory. I remember one time when I was skating. I don't know if the boy did like me or not. But he would, it was ice skating. He would go and do that, like, he he played hockey. And he would always, go, like, go real fast around the rink and then would slide and the ice would come up and hit me. I mean, I thought he liked me. I thought he liked me. I mean. <laughs> I was like, what a sweetheart. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, that was rude. That was really rude. Let me just see how I want to hang these. I don't know. I like them in the center. All right, let's just glue them down. I don't know which way, though. How did I have this? We'll just go. We're just going to go for it. I'm like, nowadays, if someone would do that to my daughter or something, I'd be like, you know what? You trip them. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. Um, yeah, he was. He was showing his tricks. But, it, after, you know, now that I'm older, I'm like, I should have went and I should have just, like, stuck my leg out and let him fall. <laughs> oh. To be young. If I would ice skate now, I guarantee I would fall and break something. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to kind of crisscross this center just a little bit. Well, that does look okay. We're not done. Just trust my process here. You know? Oh, I would be. Mm -mm. I have two left feet as it is. All right, let's do our snowflakes. And these I'm going to add just a little hint of my glitter Mod Podge on. Let's get rid of some of these. And then I'm going to uh, make a little messy bow for somewhere on here. And then I do want to make a, a just a simple hanger for it. But I might change my mind because you never know. Um, Beyond the computer phone without using blue, black, like, yeah, Amy, I have that um on my glasses where it, ha it has like that protection thing on it. I don't have Easter stuff out because it was in the box for my Valentine's. Every kid has said, mom, why do you have Easter out? Like they get so afraid that I'm going to decorate for the next holiday. Haley, it's almost Valentine's day. It's just a month and a half away. <laughs> And uh, Easter's in March this year, sis. Okay, just saying. Um, the ice skates, they were sent to me in Happy Mail. And they were in a little, like, a kit for a tear tray. I'm thinking Timu, but I'm going to just probably be completely wrong. But whoever sent this to me, if you're watching, can you tell me? <laughs> because I forget who sent it to me. What, honey? For what? For school? Probably black, but... Are kids wearing jammy pants to school? What shoes would you wear with that? Your slippers? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I hate not knowing exactly where things come from because I never would hide something from you. But I truly have no idea. And I forget who sent them to me. And that's rude of me also. But I'm human. Okay, so this glitter Mod Podge is just going to give that snowy look. So a part of me wants to just add a little bit on my skate. I only need a little bit and it just gives that shimmer. And maybe want to put some, nah, I'm not going to go crazy. Too much glitter. I don't want any regrets. All right, let's give this a quick dry. And then now we'll just add our finishing touches and I'll put my snowflakes on. Um, hi, Sheila. Yeah, I just feel bad. Um, yeah, see, Sarah, I mean, that's what, like, one day she had a picture with her friend and I, like, double took the picture, like, double looked and I'm like, is she wearing jammies? And she's like, yeah, everyone does. I'm like, all right. I know, I mean, I, I always make sure my kids are put together, of course, but she's in high school. What can I do? As long as nothing's showing, I don't care. You know what I mean? She, she, it's a modest dress. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're going to put three. I'm lining them up because they're not all the same. But we're going to put three at the top and three at the bottom. Oh, well, that's cute. It's coming together. I should have my little glue gun for this, but I forgot to turn it on. So it's okay. I'm just going to line them up. These little snowflakes were in a little kit from Hobby Lobby. It was one of these. Yeah, this is a Hobby Lobby snowflake. But Dollar Tree has, you know, they had all these out. When you go to your Dollar Tree, has anyone been there recently? Are people like... Are you guys getting stuff for like Valentine's Day or, um, I've seen some Dollar Trees have Easter out already. I haven't been, I have not been to the Dollar Tree this uh, new year yet. I'll probably stop in on Friday after I go through some of my, uh, Valentine's. I'm ready for spring. No, you haven't? see gnomes and kits like that and Brenda I did too I saw like someone post a reel and they were for Easter they were little Easter gnomes in that little kit okay look that's what I have so far I think it's cute it's it's not like yeah it is what it is <laughs> it's cute it's not that creative but sometimes I just I just don't have, I just don't have that creative side to me today. Hold on, where did my uh, lighter go? I can't, I can't go forward without getting this hair off. Hold on, I just saw it because I just cleaned. Whatever. All right, so I wanted just a little messy bow. I'm not using the blue. We're just going to use some of this tan fabric. And we're just going to do a little tiny, simple, messy bow. Just to add some other texture on here because everything's just real, you know, it's wood. And I'm going to use a little bit of this ribbon I have left over from the Dollar General. Four. Okay, that'll 
work. I'm going to get the Bodabra out. Um, in our schools, it's PJ pants, hoodie, and Uggs. Oh, yeah. I would... My mom would yell at me if I'd wear, like, the same sweatpants over and over again. But, like, I had, like, my soccer, I played soccer, and I had my soccer sweatpants or my Adidas pants, and my mom would be like, um, you need to wear something else. <laughs> you've, you've worn that a couple times this week. I'm like, well, so what? Who cares? No one's judging me, which they probably were, but I didn't care. All right, look, a little simple. I hate when I lose the string. Um, your crafts always send me out looking to see what I can find. Kimberly, listen, just hold the phone because I, I don't know what I have in those boxes. I didn't go through them today. Like I said, I was very lazy today. Maybe we'll go through a box. Maybe we'll just open up that tote when I'm done. Because I'm about done. Um, a friend of mine, her mother would never let her wear pants or jeans at school. She always said, oh my gosh, Tracy, I'm going to tell you a story about my best friend. I hope her mom's not watching, but she does know. I don't care what she says. So we rode the bus together. And she would only be allowed to wear skirts. But underneath her skirt, she always had on shorts or pants like pants like <laughs> one time she had jeans on under her, a skirt and I was like how did you do that and she would change every morning on the bus every morning I remember watching her every morning changing and then she put them back up uh <laughs> when she got home I'm like what and then like she finally uh, that was like in grade school and then she finally was able to wear what she wanted but I was like Girl, your mama's gonna, she's gonna find out and be mad. It's just little things like that that we remember, you know what I mean? My mom would just be like, make sure you brush your teeth. <laughs> Maybe put, you know, do something with your hair. I'm like, oh, okay, I will. Okay. I kind of was thinking that the little bow would look cute right up at the top here. I just need to trim it down just a little more. Has anyone been to Walmart either? Because I know a lot of their stuff is like 75% off. My mother-in-law texted me yesterday. When I told her, I'm like, I have so much Christmas like left over. Like... I really don't need any more. But then I was like, but, you know. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to trim that down a little bit more. Oh, that looks, okay. That does look cute. Just a little messy bow. I'm going to use a little bit of this packaging stuff. And kind of shove it under the bow just to add some more texture I just I feel like you can never have too much texture on projects that way it just doesn't look flat because this is a flat looking project here <laughs> hi Linda how are you <laughs> yep I was very fortunate though. My mom would wake up a lot of mornings and help me do my hair. Even in high school. Because I needed her. It wasn't because I was lazy. It was just because I, I needed my mom to help me curl it or do something to hide my issues. And she always would. She'd be grumpy, but she would do it for me. I had a good mom. I still have a good mom, but I'm saying, you know, when, when you need it, when you need your mom the most. <laughs> All right. 
I will trim it all up. It gets a little messy. But... You know, my craft is sturdy when I can, you know, shake it around and do crazy things. Um, oh, Paula, thank you for joining. Hi, Mona. Yes, Shauna. It was, you know. I don't think she realized how much she's, hel she's helped me and molded me. Which, I don't know, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. okay, hold on. There's a couple more little... Hickeys I need to put on here. This was a pick you guys see me use frequently um, from Dollar General, which I wanted just to add a little pop of this greenery. We'll just kind of push that underneath. And it has a little bit of a sparkle to it. Let me just add two more little pieces. I have so many like half picked um, greenery all like through my craft room. And I just can't like part with it. I can't throw it away because I'm like, I'll probably use it. And then I have, there, just slight, just slightly. I could add one more because it just doesn't look right without it being three. I never was like that. Why do I have to be extra? Why do I have to be extra? And then I'm just going to take a, a little bit of these white berries and just put it right in the center of my bow. And then we are done. Simple, easy, cute. I think it might be too big for my trees, but if you had an all seasons tree out, that would look really pretty as like an oversized ornament. But I think it turned out okay for my last minute decision craft tonight. down a little bit too I have like no bow left but that's that's okay I think it's cute now I was thinking a little white hanger but I don't know thank you Donna thank you Robin thank you Amanda I think it's <laughs> I'm ridiculous um, hold on. A cute white bead hanger would look, would, I would like that, but I'm just going to do a simple twine. And I'm just going to glue it and put a popsicle stick over it like a normal person should because, excuse me. Well, I probably could use my. I will use my stapler just because I see where I could staple it and it shouldn't have an issue. But adding hot glue can make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, thanks, Valerie. Thanks, Judy. How are you guys? Yes, it came in happy mail. I wish I knew. 
That's why I said, if, if you sent this to me and remember that you sent it to me, please tell me. Just message me. Okay, guys, you know I screw this up every time we do it, so let's just do it. Ah, didn't screw it up. Okay. Ah. Well, son of a nutcracker, I didn't screw it up. There. That's cute. It works. <laughs> okay, um, thank you, Linda. No, my replays are always up. You know that. Um, hi, Christina. Hi, Darlene. Thank you, Haley. I appreciate your love and support, you guys. Even though this craft was not really, uh, again, not too creative, but it's just what I have, and I just used it, you know? But I think it looks pretty for a winter little scenery. All right, hold on. Let me do one thing and then I'm going to head off. I'm going to, I'm going to, I partially opened this, like I said. But this came, this was right on top of all my Easter stuff. Look how pretty this napkin is. Look at that. That's that's going to look so pretty on a heart. That's my envision for that. All right, hold on. This looks to be Valentine stuff, but I do see Easter. See the carrot? That's why I was like, yeah, that's a carrot. That's Easter. But yeah, oh, uh, then we have a little bit of uh, Halloween <laughs> and fall. I need to get myself organized. This is a shame. Um, these are cute. Dollar Tree comes out with like new wording every year. Oh, here's a past craft that's all in here smushed to smithereens. I made that like three years ago. One of my first time using Artist Jenner for pube prints. Oh, yay. This is what I was looking for. These are the foam, really pretty flowers. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to get into all this. My, my bunny bench is in here. If you've been with me from the beginning, you all know the bunny bench. And the bunny bench has been completely... There's no more legs on the bunny bench, but this was a bench I made for Easter. Um, yeah, no, there's Easter in here too, guys. Son of a nutcracker. There's a Valentine's. That's made from a, a card. But, yeah, we're going to have to go through it. So, I'll get to it. And I'll have some Valentine's stuff ready to go. All right, that's all I got. I can't, I can't go through this right now. There's just too much. And it's so not organized. And I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking last season, just throwing Easter with Valentine's and not caring because this is, I don't like to do that. All right, I love you all. Thank you so much for joining. This is what we created tonight. I'm so, it does, Karen. That, that bunny bench needs, whew. I lost the, I lost the legs for it. You know? Um, tubs. Yes, Kimberly. That's what it, that's what it is. I have those, uh, those, I call them my totes, my crafting totes. And usually they're organized by season. Only thing that's organized right now is my Christmas, obviously, because we just got done with that. So, all right. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.